Hi, I'm Peter Sullivan. I'm the writer-director of the movie Break-In, and I'm now streaming, and I'm very excited to be sharing uh, a little bit about the movie with you today. Uh, the movie is about a uh, woman named Heather who is helping clean up her mother's house after her mother passed away. Um, and unbeknownst to her, her house has been targeted uh, in a, uh, an attempted burglary uh, to take place while she's there, and the house uh, becomes a fortress for her uh, as she tries to defend it against this masked intruder who uh, spends the entire night terrorizing her and trying to get into the house. Um, what I find uh, makes the action uh, so special and captivating is that it, it mixes two genres, really. Uh, for me, it's, it's partially a thriller. It is a story about a, a woman getting over uh, marriage, getting over the death of a loved one, her mother. Uh, and it also has elements of the uh, slasher genre, where you have a masked intruder who is a persistent uh, threat throughout the entire film, uh, unrelenting and vicious and brutal. And so for me, it's mixing these two genres together in an interesting way to create a thriller that uh, you know might be a little bit more intense and a little harder hitting uh, than you might normally see, which I thought was interesting. Um, the character Journey I found uh, particularly interesting because um, she very much is at a crossroads in her life. Her mother, who has been a constant uh, companion for her, has passed away. She's in the process of separating from her husband. So here's a character who, in one way or another, has sort of been subservient to someone for much of her life, whether it's a parent or a spouse, and for the first time she's experiencing the freedom of independence, and along with that freedom, uh, and along with that independence, comes this ultimate threat that, you know, she no longer has someone else that she can turn to uh, to help her in this situation, and it is going to test her will and her perseverance uh, to overcome this uh, incredible obstacle. Um, my favorite scene or moment in the film, um, there is a great chase uh, that I really enjoy where it literally takes her from one side of the property to the other. And it starts in the house and starts outside the house. And it's great because no matter how fast she runs or where she hides, the intruder is coming. And he knows he's going to get her. And he's just walking with a purpose. And he... It's just, I get goosebumps every time I see it because it is uh, frightening and scary and uh, just such a, uh, a, you know, such a strong moment. Um, and, and, you know, the action is solid. Uh, Heather, um, who plays, uh, uh, sorry, Jessica who plays Heather, is, uh, you know, phenomenal in it. And uh, I just really enjoyed that sequence a lot. Um, my next projects, actually, I have a Christmas movie uh, coming up uh, in a couple weeks called Silent Night, Fatal Night, and like this film, we're, we're mixing genres, it'll be on the Lifetime Movie Network, and it is um, very much a Christmas movie that's, that's, that's untraditional, um, it does not have the, you know, woman goes to small town, falls in love with a handyman, it is uh, about a, a writer, who has just had a big book come out, and she's facing a crossroads, uh, again, a recurring theme in her life, and um, there are people in her life who don't want to see her make that transition, and, and they will do anything to stop her. So her, her you know, what should be a happy uh, Christmas uh, journey um, becomes a nightmare. And so that Silent Night, Fatal Night, that'll be on uh, Lifetime Movie Network in December. And I'm also excited to say that the uh, film that I had last year, uh, Case of the Christmas Diamond, um, is now a book and is available um, uh, Barnes and Noble and um, you know periodically on Amazon when it's in stock. So uh, keep an eye out for Case of the Christmas Diamond, uh, the novel, which is um, the first time I've, I've done something like that. So I'm very excited about that. And I am literally a couple of days away from starting another film, um, but you'll just have to stay tuned uh, to find out more about that. So thank you. Please enjoy breaking, and um, you have a great holiday. Hopefully it is not a fatal one.
Bye.